Good morning, Vikings, and welcome to WHM Vault Hollow News. I'm Journey, and today is Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. Please stop what you're doing and stand for a moment of silence and reflection. If you're still in the hallways, please stop where you are. Now please remain standing for the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This week's academic vocabulary word is evidence. Evidence is used to prove something. Now let's go over to Bryce for the weather. Good morning, I'm Bryce, and here's your fall hollow weather. Today you expect a high of 75 with a low of 45 with most of the cloudy skies. Today's quote is from Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can sear yourself in any direction you choose. Happy birthday today to Paulina de Villa, Abidel Pancho, Emmanuel Ponzi, and Marietti Ramirez Sanchez. Happy birthday, Vikings. Boys basketball conditioning will begin on October 17th. Tryouts will start on October 24th. An interest form will be sent out to the parents of the 7th and 8th graders. Please fill out the form and have an up-to-date physical on file before October 17th. If you have any questions, see Coach Bishop. Now let's go back over to Journey for the news. Remember, FCA will meet each Thursday morning from 7.50 to 8.15 in the gym. Lunch in the Viking Cafe today is regular spicy chicken sandwich or cheesy French boat. Sides are squash and steamed broccoli. Breakfast daily is chicken or sausage biscuit with assorted breakfast pastries, Pop-Tarts, and cereal. Vikings, today is National Taco Day. Cell phones and earbuds should be put away by 8.25 each day. The Viking Shoe Award of the Month is Integrity. Academic integrity is the commitment to and demonstration of honest and moral behavior. It's National Hispanic Heritage Month. Take a moment to listen to Ms. Villa Colonist class. Los apellidos hispanos se originaron como una forma de distinguir entre dos hombres que tenían el mismo nombre, usando el nombre de su padre y de su madre. Si su apellido termina en ES, AS, IS o OS, esos sufijos significan hijo de. Por ejemplo, si tienes el nombre de Eduardo Fernández, significa que tú eres Eduardo, hijo de Fernando. Lo mismo ocurre con Fernando Velázquez, padre es hijo de Velasco. Did you know that Hispanic last names originated as a way to distinguish between two men of the same first name by using the name of their father and their mother? Spanish last names were mostly formed by adding suffixed meanings son of, for example, if you have the name Eduardo Fernandez, it means you are Eduardo, the son of Fernando. Same with Pedro Velasque, Velasquez. Pedro is the son of Velasco. A veces, los apellidos hispanos vienen de la, de la ubicación de donde vivían o de donde era su familia. Por ejemplo, Lucas Iglesias sería un hombre que vive cerca de una iglesia. Ricardo de Lugo sería alguien del pueblo de Lugo. Y así contenían los apellidos. Sometimes Hispanic last names were derived from, their, from the location of where their family was from. For example, Lucas Iglesias would be the man who lived close to a church or iglesia. Ricardo de Lugo would be someone from the town Lugo, or, and so on. Los apellidos a veces también vienen de los trabajos de las personas, como el apellido Guerrero. Hubiera sido una familia de guerreros o soldados. También hay apellidos descriptivos que son basados en una calidad o característica física de un individuo, como Juan Delgado, que se convierte en Juan el Flaco, o incluso Marco Rubio, que es Marco el Rubio. Last names sometimes came from people's jobs as well. Like Guerrero would have, would have been a warrior or soldier family. There are also deprived last names that were based on a quality or physical feature of an individual, like Juan Delgado, who becomes John the Thin Guy, or even Marco Rubio, who is Marco the Blonde. Así que te preguntarás, ¿por qué los hispanos a veces tienen dos apellidos? Bueno, es porque cada apellido proviene de un padre. El primer apellido viene del padre y el segundo viene de la madre. 
Y aunque tenemos muchos más que, mucho más que decir acerca de cada apellido, recuerden que todos ustedes tienen una historia y una cultura que llevan con ustedes, eh, comenzando con su nombre. So you may wonder, why do Hispanics sometimes have two last names? Well, each last name comes from a parent. The first comes from the father and the second comes from the mother. And while we have so much more to say about each individual last name, remember that you will have a history and culture that, care, that you carry around with you. Starting with your name. <laughs> Nos vemos mañana para su dosis diaria de ¿Sabías qué? De la edición del mes de la herencia hispana. See you tomorrow for your daily dose of Did You Know Hispanic Heritage Month Edition. <laughs> edition. <laughs> edition. <laughs> That's all for today, Vikings. Have a great day and remember to share your Viking pride.